And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Control Players Control deck, Twisted Zillion. This is going to be a deck where we're just going to have lots and lots of card advantage. And that's how we're going to be winning the game, drowning out our opponent. Uh, it's going to start with both of our champions, though. Like that's where that's where it's going to be really important. We want to level up our champions for Twisted Fate. We got to draw nine plus cards, and for Zillion, we got to play multiple time bombs. Now these time bombs are going to be drawing cards whenever we play them, and that's going to help out our Twisted Fate as well. Um, and then you know we have a lot of other card draw like Preservarium, Fortune Croaker, Pool Shark drawing some cards, Salvage, Spray Fin, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be um, trying to draw a lot of cards, find our time bombs that we put into play with Zillion. And once we level up Zillion, then our Zillion, you know, how it just generates all these cards or creates all of these uh, cards for you to play, that's kind of how we pull ahead is that we're just like creating like three, four cards every single round and replaying them and stuff like that, um, where the opponent's only drawing one card per turn. So that's, that's our plan. Um, to help slow the opponent down, we got Monster Harpoons. Um, Merciless Hunter and Hired Gun with like the Vulnerable that will help slow them down. Bone Skewer for some removal where Bone Skewer can also protect both of our champions, put them back on top of the deck. It works perfectly with both of our champions because we can replay Zillion, get our Time Bombs, replay Twisted Fate, get another Destiny card. Um, so it works perfectly there with both of those. And then both 1 mana combat spells also really do a good job of protecting the champions for just 1 spell mana with Scrying Sands and Shapestone. Spicy one that we're adding in here um, is Sleight of Hand. This can help us like <laughs> just kind of do random stuff, right? Like it's going to um, be a card that isn't going to be something we're going to play on round three because we won't have Plunder yet. But we'll have Plunder from the Time Bombs doing one damage to the Nexus, Red Card dealing one damage to the Nexus. Like those are some ways for us to turn on Plunder. And then just kind of take a card from their hand. You know, maybe there'll be something good, especially later on in the game. Um, this could be a way, like a card like the Watcher, just obliterates us right this gives us an an out if we're incredibly lucky to like take the watcher from them um instead of taking uh you know anything else you know like they probably have like seven cards in hand or whatever whenever they have the watcher in hand we have to get incredibly lucky for it to work but it could work uh, but it gives us just an out right so we're not just completely dead to it uh but yeah there we go we also have some riptide racks to do some some board cleaning uh if we need it in the late game and uh, it's all going to be about card advantage so let's get to it we're playing some long games those y'all that like control decks this could be the deck for you so sharima with targon i like it cool cool okay that's going to be gone and we'll just keep our champions in the scrying sands scrying sands can do some stuff don't know exactly what yet. Really hoping no Zoe. Just pass the round, please. Pass, pass, pass. That's not good. I don't think it's worth... I don't know. We could, you know, do that, that Scrying Sands to keep them from getting the super cool Star Char. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Hunter. Renekton's like not even here. We love it when they run. Um, do predictions need to go up? Any do predictions? Alright, start prediction. Will we win? I don't want to challenge it with Zillion just because it's too easy to have like a pale cascade or, or a shapestone or I don't know what exactly what they have going on over here. I was worried about this. And I guess I'm just going. I guess I'm just going Twisted Fate red card. Because like gold card just eats the spell shield. So might as well go red card to eat the spell shield and do a little bit more. Could 
also just play some pool sharks. Maybe we just go blue card actually. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. Okay. Business as usual. Wrap them up tight. That actually works pretty well. I like the opponent's deck. The opponent's deck looks awesome. These are all cards that are really, really good. I love playing Siphoning Strike. They have Zoe, Siphoning Strike, Sivir, Merciless Hunter. Like, they're... This is the exact kind of deck that of cards that I love to play. Gotta trust your instincts. I guess the instincts are to let it happen. Yuck. That's like the worst thing to hit off a of pool shark. I mean, I guess Riptide Rex would be kind of bad, but that is not good. Yeah, that's not good. Where do you stand on cold shots? Wrap them up tight. Alright, so no, there's only the one ride of negation in the deck. So that's gonna be gone now. Oh, I guess I didn't. Deck's looking great. Now they just draw their two dragons. Eclipse into Aurelian Soul. Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Okay, okay. It was important, they should have built it better. Wow. Wow, every everything's looking great for them. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, because I, I needed that, of course, for my sleight of hand, right? I needed that. Yeah, this has all worked out really, really well for them. Business as usual. Forge ahead! Yeah, why not? Where you going? Sivir's a very good champion. It is. Never lost a fair game. Well played one. I'm a people person. Good looking deck. Just a, a bunch of spell shield stuff and strikes. I like it. I like that deck. The 
That looks really, really good. I'm not sure what their tool is against, like, like what they're doing against Aurelia Azir. Like, a fast start from them. But besides that, the deck looks really good. But maybe with the life steal from the 5-4 and blocking from the 2-3. Okay, so Lissandra Trundle, matchup that is horrible for us, but we have like we have to hope our sleight of hand takes the watcher, right? Like that's our only that's our only hope. Okay, so with that being said, we're we're definitely keeping Zillion. I kind of I like Har Monster Harpoon though, because it does take out Lissandra and Trundle. All right, there's a the sleight of hand. As you can tell, large units are, are going to be the units that give us the most trouble. Spell Shield, obviously, is not something that we enjoy, but um, with having both Twisted Fate and... Whoa, Shermie with the host. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shermie Cost, thank you so much. Um, Twisted Fate, I guess it's going to be that... I kind of want to take that Preservarium, though. Alright, so our we have one other slide of hand in the deck that we really want to find. Um, but I also want to find the... Uh, okay, I really want to find the Titan Bombs, because I want Zillion to level up. Because if we can get Zillion leveled up, then maybe we can cast more slide of hands than normal. Which, in turn, would give us a better chance of taking the Watcher. Because we're not beating the Watcher. So welcome, everybody. So we're um, playing some donation decks today. We, uh, the schedule's over here on the top left. We did go 5-0 and with Victor Lee Sin. We're in, we're in rank today. We're in Master's rank. We did go 5-0 with, with Victor Lee Sin. And we are currently playing uh, these other decks. All right, so that's going to be... That's, that's got to be like an Avalanche. Um, I... I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay letting Twisted Fate die. Twisted Fate's just gonna die. It's gonna happen. But we need to keep the card advantage going. So that's why maybe I should have taken Preservarium instead of Twisted Fate. Yeah, I probably should have taken Preservarium. It would have just been two cards instead of one. Really, Bone Skewer? I don't mind the Zillion dying, so we can play New Zillion um, and try to have New Zillion. Um, get some more time bombs for us. I should have Scrying Sands first. But then I saw you can just cast this anyway. So yeah, let's just cast this. Fortune Croaker draws a card. Harpoon could kill a Lissandra. I'll take the Harpoon to kill a Lissandra. Kill that thing. Alright, we need to find some time bombs. Or another slide of hand. Okay. So I'm not going to really be able to kill Lissandra, I don't think. Yeah, the thing is, I think that, because, like, right here, they're going to just play these two Ice Pillars before they play Lissandra now, right? So, like, Lissandra's going to create the Watcher. Like, I wouldn't be able to kill Lissandra before it would create the Watcher anyway. Success. Get to notice around here. 
I just need to figure out how to turn on plunder. Plunder is the thing I'm not sure exactly sure what I'm doing about right now. Alright, Twist of Fate red card. Oh, Twist of Fate red card doesn't work because of the tough Nexus. <sighs> Didn't I do that? Alright. Yeah, that's the problem is I had to draw this card, right? Like, I wanted to draw the Twisted Fate, but unfortunately I had to draw this card. If only this card didn't need Plunder. Yep. So. If only that card didn't need Plunder. That's such a that's basically like an impossible matchup. <laughs> you really need to get lucky. We did not. Alright, prediction. Plunder is us dealing damage to the Nexus. Plunder is not my opponent dealing damage to their own Nexus. What cards would you nerf from Trundle Lissandra control? I would just delete the Watcher. I think Lissandra. For a three mana champion, putting uh, putting the eight eight in play, you know, like putting that landmark in play, and then also having the tech tough nexus and creating ice shards, I think that's awesome. I think that's a really good champion. I think that the watcher is just not necessary, and I think that could go. I don't think it doesn't need to like have a tough nexus and get you an eight eight and make zero cost ice shards every single round, and then also create. You know, an unstoppable eleven seventeen for a three mana champion. It doesn't need to do all that. Okay, prediction started. We're not very good at finding time bombs, but the the powerful top ends are what we're going to struggle against, and, and that's what you've seen so far. We struggled against um, dragons and watcher, that kind of stuff. That's going to be um, where we will struggle. I suppose should be now. Just resetting Zillion to be able to get more time bombs in the deck. So, you know, now we're playing against Deep, another deck that has a powerful top end. 
So going to be another difficult challenge for us. So no Maokai is good, but a whole bunch of toss units immediately, not good. They're already almost deep. This kind of gives us, you know, gives them priority. Maybe they play a Maokai into a Merciless Hunter. soon. Plunder is enabled if they just go with the, um, you know, the Devourer. Devourer will cost five. Disappointing. Use a monster harpoon on that. That would have been so great to have that other time bomb first. So if I want to have level up zillion, I have to use my monster harpoon on that, which then means that I don't have a monster harpoon for other things. Or I just let that happen, and then what we got to just find another zillion. Because the thing is, is like if I if I save the zillion, then they're just going to it's just not going to matter if I save zillion. Because because of devourer depths. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. Yeah, it is kind of a lose-lose situation. I think there's a possibility they don't have Devourer. It's not a very high possibility. They've tossed one Devourer so far. But we may steal it with Sleight of Hand. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be very surprised if we win this game. Very surprised we won this game. That's going to turn on um, Plunder next round for the Riptide Rex. Deck just doesn't seem to have the power in the top end as some of these other decks do. Bilge Waters does not add very much. Gives us a hope, a prayer. Of course, not if they play a Nautilus, but they don't have a Nautilus.
Riptide. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's a 6 4. Yeah, Riptide was in was an eight four that did seven shots, right? And then made a six four that does six shots. Is that right? Or a seven four? Is it a seven four that did seven, and then they turned into a six four that did six? Well, I kind of wish I would have played these two decks in the other order. Kind of wish I would have played the Twisted Zillion first, so whenever we had zero points, <laughs> we would have lost all of our games. It would have been fine. Uh, but unfortunately, this deck's not looking so good. Okay, really is here. So this is going to be a deck that doesn't have as powerful of a top end. Has a lot more smaller units. Um, you know, maybe our time bombs and twisted fate red card and stuff like that can really help out a lot more in this one, in this matchup. Especially expecting that to work. Alright, get these time bombs in early. Time bomb. Then I'm gonna go ahead and play the pool shark. It means no merciless hunter this next round. But that's alright. Two right now. So that's six. Remember this day. And that's Arise. Tell the people what you have seen today. More than six. Where you going? More game? Not my first gun fight. Alright, so I'm down to eleven. Red card will kill Aurelia, put a zero to four health. Where I can like challenge Azir and um, you know, maybe I can challenge plus Bone Skewer, I guess. No, yeah, because I won't have the mana for Monster Harpoon. I can try to challenge plus Bone Skewer. My favorite tie knot is the um, full Windsor. And that's what I have here, that's what that's what I like to tie. Um, a good place to learn how to tie a tie is actually just simply how to tie a tie.com. Oh, 
I was worried about that, but got that other hand at least, I guess. What it used to be. I'm a people person. Just got that out of their hand. They must become the leader they need. Good play. I wanted them to use a mana on uh, this thing, and then I was going to, you know, harpoon and kill the Azir. That was a good play, just going immediately to attacks. Make it worth my while. That was a good play. Not my first gun fight. Alright, bye, Nasher. I consider that. Giant Monster Games says, what about doing like a casual Friday where I just wear uh, like lounge clothes? Or like a t shirt, something like that. I thought about doing that. I, you know, I haven't, but. Is it I wouldn't want to do like a casual format like Lab of Legends like every time on a, on a Friday. Two life, I suppose. I suppose that's a lot. Gotta find a gift for an action, right, Arda? I don't know what cards can be in their hand that I can win the game. Um, right. It's not that. The deck was stacked against us. Okay, well, let's try one more. Let's try one more. I'm not too confident. Okay, Thresh Nasus, we can maybe win this one. Uh, I don't know how, like, we have to figure out how to deal with Nasus, but maybe, maybe we can deal with the other stuff. I, you know, I made the mis- I should have- I don't know. I didn't play that last game perfectly. I can't say, but... Forge Slayer deck's not looking too good. I think that we're kind of struggling with... Um, I don't know, just having, like, good enough control elements and ways to um, get rid of larger creatures and stuff. Larger units. Yeah, Sharima doesn't have the best control tools, but the thing is, is like build. I think Bilgewater has looked really, really weak. Just like the and so like just the the combination, we just don't. It's like Zillion and Twisted Fate are awesome champions, and they work well together. It's just the whole rest of the deck. I <laughs> just don't have enough support for them, unfortunately. The 
So I think you can go Twisted Fate with a different region with like a bunch of removal and things like that. And like a, a powerful champion that can control the board or like Zillion with a different champion just like that. But putting them together with these two regions um, doesn't look like it works. So let's do that. The deck was stacked against us. Yeah, we did recently, we did play Twisted Fate Zillion in a deep deck, and that deck did look a lot better. I think we had a, a much better top end in that, because we had, like, two Zillion, two Twisted Fate, two Nautilus, and then, you know, had, like, the sea monsters, like, Devour Adepts was was clutch in that deck of, like, you know, being able to play Devour in the mid-game and eat stuff and block, and I think we just probably had a more powerful deck. Like, Riptide Rex, unfortunately, just doesn't, doesn't really cut it, and it's just too expensive at eight mana, and just doesn't cut it. So... Um, yeah, we didn't, just didn't, uh, didn't, you know, just had a lot of cards that didn't cut it. Like, Scrying Sands never, never mattered. The only, like, we, this was just one mana predict that give them enemy minus two, minus zero, and never helped us, unfortunately. And just, you know, sometimes your cards line up, sometimes they just don't at all, and nothing, nothing lined up. Like, every, every card was, like, at its worst in these games of, like, you know, even like Merciless Hunter just didn't really help enough. So, okay, so there we go. So that's Twisted Zillion. Um, yeah, if if y'all are watching later on YouTube and you got a better idea with these, let me know. But yeah, maybe having like that Twisted Zillion deep deck that we played a few days ago, um, yeah, that's probably going to be a better version um, of this one here. But all right, that's all I got for this deck. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.